Hello, welcome everybody. This is me, Michael. And first of all, I'm very sorry for the poor quality of this video. What I do is just putting my iPhone and filming the screen of my iPad. And what you see is that I'm already downloading the Affinity Designer app. It is just a couple of days or maybe one or two weeks old in the App Store. It is around 14 euro and uh, I'm very interested in this app because I recently bought the Procreate app for my iPad Pro and my Apple Pencil. And I thought maybe it was a mistake to buy very quick the Procreate app because this is a kind of beginner based app and the Affinity Designer has for nearly the same price a complete package of Pro tools. And uh, this is why I share this video, because I found absolutely nothing available in the YouTube store, in the YouTube community. Um, I just want to know 10 euros for Procreate or 14 euros for Affinity Designer. This is what the Procreate app looks like when you open it. You see already the pictures that I drew the last days I did several different styles I tried with Cowell. I inserted a picture and I drew over the picture. I tried some kind of art style, added an a photograph and a small picture and then I just let my inspiration flew and uh, here is something technical that I done that I have done and um, just to be clear this app is perfect for you if you just want to draw something because you have a lot of different styles of pencils Cowell airbrush, spray paint, um, you have for sure a rubber and everything is organized on this layer technique. So you can draw on every layer and so separate, erase and organize your work. You can choose for sure each color you like, different styles of choosing the color and that's really all. So the key of this app is the many many ways of different types of pencils. On the left you have the chance to add a photo and you have the chance to change the photo. You can smooth the photo, you can add some noise, you can make it sharper, you can change the tone of the picture itself, but nothing more. So this is very basic and going to gallery, you are back at your um, top level screen. Here is a very nice photograph I, I used and then added a picture of a robot. And as I said, you can change the color of the picture itself. And uh, this is pretty much everything of the Procreate app for you. In the meantime, the Affinity Designer app is still loading. I think it is a big package of data. And so we can expect for sure a Pro package. And I have already the feeling that the Procreate is nice for you to just paint something with your children or do some freestyle but the Affinity Designer for sure will add a complete new level of possibilities to your style. Now, this is how the Affinity Designer app looks like. And we see a big variety of icons on the left with a lot of different options to choose text 
effects, layer techniques, we saw on the left, a lot of different functionalities. Every time the logic I change the icon on the left, there is here down below a uh, new icons popping up. So this is definitely a pro app, not very easy to use. And I suppose that you need some practice. For sure practice makes perfect, but I think this here is nothing where you just simply can sketch an idea within 30 seconds. So this app is something you have to prepare yourself, maybe read a tutorial. It seems to have the same layer technique. There is a text function, which is very interesting. The Procreate has none of such text function. Um, vector based pencil styles um, definitely something I have to dive deeper into and this is already my summary so if you want to have something very quick go to procreate easy to use easy to store easy to modify if you want to have a professional thing and maybe read a tutorial and uh, do for sure more pro-based work, then this Affinity Designer is your type of style.